Okay, here's a video of something I've been working on over this last oh, couple of weeks. Um, basically what it is, is um, it's an all-in-one kind of a power supply slash um, fiber optic 12 watt laser and cooling system. Uh, I kind of built this from a lot of the parts I, I've just used that I've had a lot lying around. Uh, so I've just kind of made done with what I had to make this as cheap as I could possibly build it. Um, it's not cost me actually much at all because a lot of the stuff I bought ages ago so I always see it as if I bought it so long ago it doesn't know me anything now. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll start off with the cooling system. Basically, we'll just forget about this section here. We have two um, radiators and they came from an old um, de dehumidifier and I had them lying in my shed for like months uh, probably a couple of years actually and the fins kind of got damaged in a few spots as you can see and on, so on the back but I straightened them up the best I could so they looked okay and the air could flow through uh, so I, I had to, actually I had to relink those up together because I had this disconnected here and I had to make this, this is just kind of like a reservoir tank uh, to hold the water and um, that's all great, protect joints you know so it's it's not gonna leak um, so yeah that's the return line there actually and that's the fill cap uh, with a little vent hole in the top um, so we'll move on down here this is the outlet of, from the radius after it's been cooled so the water comes around there and I'm going to try and keep my hand out of the way so you can see that goes into this little uh, 12 volt um, pump and then it pumps the water into this uh, water cooling block at the bottom of this unit which I'll see if you, you can just see it there in, in underneath there just underneath the aluminium there the camera will focus on it uh, so this is a small little water cooling block there so that cools this this base here and we move on up and then you've got this brass piece uh, that's the heat sink for uh, two Peltier devices I'm not too sure the specs on them I can't remember but there's two of them there linked up together with um, two single wires coming out they're designed to run off between 12 and 24 volts um, and basically this side gets hot this side gets extremely cold which this is the actual laser base and that's just the housing for the uh, the actual the parts of the laser um, and he also I actually had to buy this separately the fiber optic lead uh, but I got a great deal on that um, and it actually wasn't what I was expecting to come um, I knew this end was on one end of the fiber optic lead you know the, the quick connect sort of threaded on connection but the other end, I didn't know what was on it because the, the fella selling it on eBay um, he only showed pictures of it inside this packet so I could make out what was on one end and I knew by the code of the item that it was the right size for this, this laser but the other end has basically this little thing and by the looks of it, it's some sort of like a medical burning device thing, I don't really know what you'd use it for but it's like a, a stainless steel syringe needly sort of thing where the fiber optic lead passes up through it Let's see if we can focus on that yeah. yeah and basically the laser light comes over the end of there yeah, very hard to focus on that and um, that's where the light comes out now the front section of this heat, the cooling system, basically is just part of a ATX power supply case because it was already cut out for the fans and I have two fans linked up beside together and the power comes out just there, you see that little connector block so there's two of them running so it's to really force the air against those fans on the radiators and the power supply for this and the Peltier device is coming from this ATX power supply that I modified a couple of year ago. Uh, so that gives me me 12 volts out for the fans and the Peltier device. And obviously I've also got 5 volts and 3.3 .3 volts. Um, 
I'm powering this uh, this little pump off three three and a half volts, well the three point three, even though it's designed to run off twelve volts, but it's only designed to run off twelve volts for a short period of time, where with three volts you can run it for a long period of time. Uh, it doesn't get hot then. And uh, that's just a spool of wire, uh, fiber optic lead there. Um, so that's basically, there's nothing else to say about that post by. You all know the crack with those. Um, this big coil of wire here is a choke. And the big grey box underneath, you might recognize it. This is a post by I bought probably you know, two or three years ago. And it's a 1.3 to 2.6 volt power supply at 120 amps there you go there so if you want to google that um, it's you can it's a, got a, a voltage adjust screw here just down there and it has an overcurrent adjustment screw there which basically is just set to its fastest mode but it'll never because this only draws maybe about 12, 10 to 12 amps at 2 volts It'll, ne it'll never trip that, so that's an obsolete part. Now I am, I do have come in a, a voltmeter and a current meter, and so I'll be connecting those up to this. Uh, basically, I've got to connect the current meter to these two lugs, and the voltmeter I'll connect up to these two here, the positive and negative S voltage terminals. Um, I also have two 10 turn 5k pots coming and um, one will be connected to the PV and the far right connector which is the minus S connector here um, and that will enable me to remotely uh, adjust the voltage and I'll be able to set the maximum voltage by adjusting this screw here so I'll set that to probably about 2.1 volts, maybe a little, a few milliamps, a few millivolts over. Um, and then basically when I adjust the 10 turn pot to max, the maximum voltage I'll get out is 2.1 volts and the minimum will be 1.3 volts. So I can get a nice soft and very controlled voltage adjustment. And the other pot that I've got coming, I'm gonna to connect to the PC which I think is is current control and obviously the other lead will connect up to the night minus side side there. Um, they the two meters and the pots are going to go on the front of this bit of uh, acrylic which I've mounted to the side of that case with a couple of brass standoffs. Um, it's still got the protective sheeting on it at the minute um, but they're gonna go here probably the voltmeter there current meter and voltage adjustment pot and current adjustment pot and maybe a switch or something like that so it is in up it does work at the minute but i don't really like to use it at the moment until i i get my uh my meters and all that connected up at least then i can keep a close eye on the voltage i'm powering the laser with and the current it's drawing um, i have had it running and it does work very nicely the only thing is, it does like to uh, melt the end of this uh, this fiber optic lead. As you can see, it's a little bit black there. Um, I, I don't think it's designed to run a, at this sort of power I'm putting through it. But anyway, that's it for now. More to come. Thanks for watching.